Hey again, I'm here with another board repair today. Um, I recently have repaired this one, but I was going to give you a little different walkthrough of how we repair it. Uh, this is the 820-3330 uh, board, 15 inch MacBook Pro. It's having the same problem as our first board uh, repair video that we did. Uh, the backlight wasn't working on this one uh, either. Um, the way we figure that out, let me give you a view of uh, the schematics here. So we use the schematics in accordance with or in connection with the uh, the board view software. Um, first of all, since this one was having no backlight, uh, we pretty much do a PDF search. Let me make this full screen here. Do a PDF search for backlight. As you see here on the front page, <clears throat> the uh, table of contents, you see it here on page 90 is the LCD backlight driver. All right, so over here on page 90, we'll go down to page 90. And here we have that same schematic that we were looking at in the first video. Um, pretty much the exact same on this board. Uh, you have your power coming into your uh, backlight fuse which goes into a MOSFET, which allows the backlight to be enabled. It then goes over here <clears throat> to this filter, and then it goes down to your LED driver. This is your LED driver chip, which is a BGA on this board. And then it goes through the diode and also down to the feedback to check the voltage coming through. Once the, everything is good there, it goes on through the boost circuit here, and it goes on to your backlight, your LCD. Um, again, on this board, the issue was uh, the fuse here. So maybe you're like, okay, uh, it, it could be the fuse. Where do I locate these parts on the board? Well, you see here F9700. Now is when you go over to your uh, board view software. And so we'll type in We'll do a search for F9700. You see it shows up here. This is your fuse. And so if you take a look at the board, I'll show you under the microscope. Or actually, I can just show you in the camera here. Here's your board. And this is your board view. So you can see the resemblance here, cutouts around the fans, there's your cutouts, and now it's saying that the fuse is here. And it looks like it's right above this fan connector here. As you'll see, here's the fan connector, and right above it is the P-fuse, which is your backlight fuse. I'll show you that under the microscope. See, here's your fan connector right here and right above it is your p-fuse which is your backlight fuse and I've already changed this and it does work but I just wanted to give you a little walkthrough on how you can find these items now backlight stuff is really easy to find but when it gets into different things uh, such as your CPU your V core for your uh, GPU uh, those can be a little bit more complicated to find on the board it takes a little bit more time um, and uh, that's pretty much uh, how you start uh, finding out where, where the parts are on the board. Now, if you don't feel confident enough to be able to do this yourself, that's perfectly fine. It's not a problem. Uh, we offer logic board repair. And let me just give you a quick view of that. Okay. Here we go. Here's our website. If you click at the top where it says send and repair, you can go down to MacBook Logic Board Repair. And this takes you to our Logic Board Repair program page. Then you can go down to Logic Board Repair Only or the Complete Unit Repair. Now these two options, uh, the difference is on the Logic Board Only, you're going to be required to take out the board and send that to us. Now in doing this, you do save yourself a labor charge of $95, so the total would be $249.95. And now if you don't feel comfortable taking out the board yourself, 
you want to do the complete unit repair. Now this is the option for the larger board repair where you send in the complete unit. Uh, you pretty much leave it as it is, request this, and you can request a box from us or you can sit, send it to us in your own box. Now th as you notice there's a $95 extra labor charge on this. It's $344.95 total for that. So those are your two options and when you send the complete unit in, which I do recommend doing, especially if there's liquid damage, we, we will not um, be responsible for any other damaged parts if you send in the larger board only and it's liquid damaged because we can't check the rest of your machine. Uh, definitely send in the complete unit repair or a complete unit for repair and, th and this way we can diagnose it, we can figure out if there's any other problems with it, we'll let you know before we do any extra work but that way we can get your complete unit up and running when you get it back to you. Uh, and this, the larger board only service, you can adjust the board, we'll make sure it's working, we hook it up to our tester unit here, make sure it's working, we'll send it back to you, you reinstall it. However, if there's other damaged parts on your computer, we're not responsible for that. Um, so you'll, you'll be responsible for checking that out. So those are the two options. I um, hope that is helpful for you. Maybe, uh, maybe you're interested in the Logic Word Repair program. Uh, please send it in or uh, continue waiting for more videos and we can help you out on how to repair those things. So I hope this was helpful to you. Hope you have a great day.